Hey guys, even here, and it is one day after the Mr. Olympia, I gotta say it feels weird not to start the video by saying how many weeks or how many days we are out of Mr. Olympia, and I would say we are 364 days out of Mr. Olympia, but I don't know when it's gonna be held, but it's gonna happen in first week of November. We do know where it's gonna be located, it's not gonna be Las Vegas, we're gonna talk about that in a moment. First, I wanted to talk about the Big Grammy, so I'm showing you this photo again, this photo represents every Everything that was wrong about Big Grammy's physique. Not everything, really. You can see his back and his glutes, but in my previous video, I said I was curious what happened to Big Grammy. Is this it? Is his career finally over? Is he gonna retire after this one? Because last year there were rumors that he was gonna retire. And Dennis James basically confirmed this that last year, for the Mr. Olympia 2021, he decided to compete like four months out. And then after that Mr. Olympia, there were also rumors that he's done, that he's retired, but apparently that wasn't the case, and I assumed after this year's Mr. Olympia, where he placed in 5th, going from 1st to 5th, which is something that never happened before, a reigning champ losing the title and placing 5th, that's, that's new. So I thought if he looked that bad, and he did look pretty bad, his physique looked like he hasn't been active for 5 years and had a bunch of injuries and then came back. That's what Big Grammy looked like, so many things were wrong about his physique and I don't think he can come back from this, come back, you know, better than ever, I really doubt that, maybe I'm wrong, we'll see, because in this new video that he made, he says that he is not done, that he is coming back next year and he wants to win that Mr. Olympia title back again. He posted this video on his IG where he explains everything to his fans, first in Arabic, the majority of the video is in Arabic, but then there is a little part in English. Let me show you that little part, let's hear what Rami has to say. I have to say congratulations to Hadi, he deserves it. He is the Mr. Olympia right now and he tried many years to be in this place and I respect that. I love this game, I'm, I'm broken many times in my life. It's not the first time, but always I back stronger than ever. And uh, I have many years, in 2018, I, I lost from number two to number six, and I back to take my title again. And I promise you guys, I will do my best to back again, stronger than ever. Um, I don't promise to win or to lose, because I respect the other people, but I will say, I will do my best, like I, like what I did in all my life, to be number one man, and to be number one again. I, I promise you guys, I will do my best to be back again, stronger than ever, and I will save it for next year when I back here again, and uh, I will be back stronger than ever. Love you all. I will do my best. Thank you so much. This big Rami. All right, so you heard it from the man himself. He is not retired. He is going to be coming back next year, and he says he is going to be his best ever. He's going to come back stronger than ever. Honestly, like majority of you, I'm sure, I have a lot of sympathy for Big Remy, and he says that uh, he was broken multiple times in his life. This is not the first time, and he says that every time it happened to him, he came back better than ever, so I gotta believe him. He says that in 2016, actually it was 2017, he was second to Phil Heath next year, 2018 he was sixth, and then the next time he competed, 2020, he won the Mr. Olympia, but that was before all these injuries. The reason why he was 6th in 2018 is because he was off with conditioning. This year his conditioning was great. It was just all the injuries and all the issues with his quads and his glutes and he did not address that. There are rumors, however, that he injured his neck and it affected his back training and his, and his arms as well. I don't know what is happening with his legs or his glutes or his calves or his forearms. Okay, forearms would make sense because of that neck injury, but what about legs, what about glutes? I don't know, man. If it's all due to that injury and he heals then yeah, I can see him coming back better than ever and winning the Mr. Olympia again. We'll see next year. Until then, we're gonna follow Big Remy and his progress. Hopefully, he will be more active on social media. As soon as I get any information about his injuries or whatever happened to his physique, I will make a video about it. So guys, stay tuned, subscribe.
As I mentioned earlier, the president of the Mr. Olympia, Dan Solomon, announced that Mr. Olympia is going to be held next year in Orlando, Florida, and it's gonna happen in the first week of November. So they changed the location and the date. Why did they change the location? I have no idea. I read some comments, they're saying it's because they got a better deal. And that's the only thing that makes sense to me. They're gonna make more money this way. Also, the time zone in Las Vegas, Nevada is not exactly ideal, so there is that, but it's probably just a better deal. They got a better deal in Orlando, Florida. Honestly, me personally, I don't care where it's gonna be held. All I care about is that live stream is gonna be cheaper this time around, that the quality of it is gonna be good, and that they're gonna listen to the fans and they're gonna change a couple of things that were done very poorly this year. For example, that press conference was a complete disaster. I made a video about it. It wasn't done well. It was, it was a mess. It wasn't good. So I hope they're gonna go back to the original setup and also I hope they're gonna do something about about all these female categories that are stacked all before the Mr. Olympia pre-judging and these guys had to wait until like very late in the evening or you can say early in the morning and it affects the look it also affects the athletes mentally so I hope they're gonna fix that as far as the location who cares really all right, the next thing I found to be very interesting, Chris Bumstead was interviewed by uh, Flex Wheeler after his win at the Mr. Olympia, and Flex Wheeler asked Chris Bumstead a very interesting question. Would Chris Bumstead ever do the open category, an open bodybuilding show? Chris Bumstead does come from the open, that's how he earned his pro card, he became a pro before the classic physique was created and soon later the classic physique was created and the rest is history, let me show you what he had to say on this topic. So I want to say this to you because I've said it like for the last year, because your height and I'm sure you've seen pictures of me and you've been thrown together and everything like that, you truly do have the height and the ability to carry at least 20, 30 more pounds of muscle purely not, hurt, not hurting yourself, would you ever consider going into the uh, open, especially what kind of happened already tonight? I, I'm, the only way I'm going in the open if it's for fun for we sell a classic show. You know, and people don't realize how hard I push my body to get to, to this size. It's not easy for me. So I think my body fits just right in classic. I make weight easy every year. I'm not pushing the weight limit at all. So I'm not growing out of my class. It's so uh, tough for me. I love it. I might be able to hold more muscle on my frame, but I'm pushing my body to be even this big. Wow. All right, so he did not say no. He did not say no. He said he would do it if it was for fun reasons. And if it was four weeks out of a classic show, I would have to say classic Olympia. I don't imagine Chris doing uh, Arnold Classic or something like that because, you know, his body with his immune system disease, it's not, it's not really safe to do multiple shows a year. One time a year is plenty. Uh, thankfully, he has no issues. He still manages to get ready to get peeled without any problems problems but if he competed multiple times a year it would probably be a different story and he says he would do the open interestingly he just posted this photo which is a most muscular which is open bodybuilding pose this is not a pose in classic physique and the caption was also very interesting he says i found a lot of untapped potential this year next year is going to be dangerous what does this mean untapped potential it has he talk about potential in open bodybuilding and he says next year is going to be dangerous dangerous for him for his health because he's gonna do the open i don't know what he's referring to but you know he's doing the most muscular here and he just said that he might do the open for fun reasons and also earlier this year Ian Wallier talked about this in a podcast and he said that Chris is considering this idea of doing uh, an open show just for fun to see how he would do and he did mention Arnold Classic and I think that would be a good idea like he doesn't have to prep too hard he doesn't have to stress his body out too much he can just come in with a little bit worse conditioning he doesn't have to come dry dry like this nobody in the open is this dry Hari Chopin was not this conditioned neither was Derek Lansford neither was Samson Dowd uh, neither was Brandon Curry and these are the top guys so if they are not super conditioned he can be a little bit a little bit fatter a little bit more water and if Honey prepped him 
he would look amazing and here in this photo as you can see even though he's being out angled by Heidi Chupan and by Derek Lansford he's still holding his own man he's looking big he is looking big and if you guys are competing and you're thinking you can do classic because you can be smaller think twice look at Chris Mumstead he is huge man he is huge and in that interview with Flex Wheeler he says that he is pushing his body to be this big he says that he is not really taking it easy, so he has genetics for open bodybuilding. If he decides to do it, I think he will do really well. I think he can win an open show. And if he did that just for fun, just imagine how, how amazing would that be. Imagine if he won Arnold Classic. Okay, that's too much. He probably wouldn't win the Arnold Classic. There is a lot of great guys doing the Arnold Classic. But another show, maybe New York Pro, something like that. I could see that happen. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.